Welcome, welcome back to True Hall of Fame Builds. I'm your host, Michael May, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some of my actual real tips on getting more hits in MLB The Show 24. Now, some clips are going to be going in the back. You guys can check them out, and I want you, I want to see if you guys can catch it before I actually speak about it. Now, I've seen other videos, but I'm going to give you guys a tip that I haven't seen nobody, nobody, not one person, even bigger YouTubers giving you different tips on what to do. I'm going to give you a tip today that will significantly change the way you hit. Now, I like to play road to the show. Some of y'all guys may know me from from playing 2k i'm known for making builds so here in um mlb i like to relive the best careers of different players you know y'all guys already are following me through my journey of david ortiz big poppy i'm over here doing barry bonds um um it, it, barry bonds is very 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 very, very tough because to draw 200 walks and to draw um and, and to get 70 73 home runs is not as easy as it looks you understand what i'm saying but nonetheless it's really fun it's exciting this is this is my mike piazza build he is a catch unfortunately he on the yankees that's unfortunate but nonetheless i i want you guys to understand I know everybody's hearing everything else, or batting, moving the cursor, different things of this nature. Now, number one, I'm speaking specifically for road to the show, for you guys to have a better experience in hitting, cause that I do have that dynamic hitting on where if you're getting better at batting, I want the pitching to change. The pitching should change. It should get harder for you, yes. It shouldn't stay on the same rookie level. I'm a firm believer in that. But I want to get into some of my batting tips, right? Because I know you guys heard everything else. Now, as you guys can see, I'm le I'm letting even certain plays go. Everything ain't a home run. Everything is not going to be a, a, a knock out the park, things of this nature. I'm just showing you guys what you need to see, right? Now I want to start this video over, right? Cause I need you guys to understand, right? This is this is the beauty. This is the beauty of the advice that I'm about to give you guys right now. Number one, for my baseball heads, my baseball heads are gonna understand this. Now, number one, right here, you when you hold L2, you always listen to me listen to me you see this right here you always want to see what junk they have it's like playing 2k right when you play 2k at the beginning of the game you could look at your opponent to see what is their highest attribute so you want to push them you want to push them to their weakest to, to, to their weakest strength. You feel what I'm saying? Well, that's it can't be weakest strength, but you want to push them to their weakest part of their game. So, as a pitcher, you already see that fastball is at the top. So, you know, he want to come with that heat. Now, then you want all of this matters, y'all. Look, see, beginning of the game, energy, confidence. Look at this. Look. Actually, he's in the six. Still pretty confident. Still pretty confident. Now, you guys see I'm one and two. I want you to understand. Because I hit a lot of rockets. The tips I'm going to give you, you're going to hit a lot of rockets, y'all. A lot of rockets. Like, right at people. Like, right over their glove. You're going to hit some things right out of the park. Like I, That's why, if you notice, I haven't said what to hit with. Whether power hit regular hit because there's things that you guys should already know you shouldn't be using power hit always use the regular hit the contact hit normal hit whatever it is always use that why because 
if you hit the ball properly, you're gonna get a home run if you hit it right on the nose, <laughs> right? So now, you always wanna see their junk, sliders, curve, change. But then if you look real closely, you see this blue line right here? Look, you see this blue line? You see the blue line going around the circle? That's how confident they are with throwing these pitches. Now, if you're paying attention, right? If, if, if you look at this, now you gotta see, okay, if you see something go up and it comes down, you already know that's the curve. So you have to be able to understand and put these pictures in situations. That's why if you notice, you didn't really hear me say things like, try to run up the count, because people have already told you that information. They already told you that. Now, this ain't gonna be the shortest video in the world because I like to break things down thoroughly for you guys to understand. Now, you ready? Now, as you guys can see, if you're paying attention, look. Now, did you see how, let's bring it back a little bit. Let's bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Go, rewind. Now, look, 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 ready? I'm swinging, right? Now, you guys see another hitting trick of mine that I've seen Nobody, this is gonna be my number one, my number one, my number one trick for you guys. I'm giving it to you from the beginning cause the rest of them are just gonna help you and you're gonna see a significant jump in your hitting. I promise you this. And no, we ain't playing on no baby levels. I want, like I said, dynamic, dynamic pitching is on Hall of Fame, right? Well, not on this one, because this one I just made. He looked, as you can see, he's, a, he's in double A. And you're going to see, like, he gets called up to triple A very soon. You're going to see the, the uniform change. But hear me out. My trick is this. See what it says, guess pitching? I always guess the location. Always put the location up here at the, at the top of the zone. Listen to me. Listen. Listen to the trick. Because if you guess this zone right, it's going to shove, it's going to shove this big vision of the, of, of, of the base. It's going to shove it to the top where you can't move it anyway. But, but if it doesn't, now, you know, I'm going to say 70% of the time, 70% of the time those pitches are gonna go down those pitches are gonna be aimed down down to the bottom middle the, looks it's gonna be here it's gonna their area is gonna be right and i'm saying you see I'm, I'm 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 even going outside of, of the strike zone they're gonna pitch right here this, this is where the pitches are could they could they want to get you out now most of the time when they pitch it up here in my zone I get really excited cut that I don't want to get too ahead of myself I don't want to get too ahead of myself I don't want to do that I don't want to do that I don't want to do that relax relax Mike true chill out hear me out watch this so I picked the upper zone so it ain't there so I know they are going down so what you do is this you see people online say just aim the cursor wherever you see the ball going no don't aim the cursor. Listen to me. You want to move the cursor down or up. That's it. Cause even if, even if, even if it's, if it's out of the zone, you're gonna hit it out of bounds. You're gonna hit it foul. You're gonna hit it foul. Do you understand what I'm saying to you now? I want you guys to understand something. Cause look, you, you guys are gonna keep seeing it. Look, look, look. So look. Now I guessed up and what I and my next trick is this. You see this, you see this zone, this vision, this little vision bracket you got? Always just move it around. Cause I have, I've noticed something. If you don't move it around, it's almost like I kind of ran this test. If you don't move it around, it almost feels like the game recognizes where you want the wh what you're looking at 
and it deliberately will pitch around. But if you move your vision, trust me, you're gonna get so much, you're gonna feel the significance because you're gonna be like, they, they won't dare pitch to me in, in, in the zone that I just picked. And they always pitch it up and up and in, up and away. Listen, watch. Now look, I picked the zone up. They ain't throwing it there. Look, 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 look. You see? Right over the glove. So you seen how I I slowly moved it. I slowly moved it. Slowly. I want to just move it real fast. Slowly move it. Slowly. Now, here's the thing. Here's the next thing. The, the, the next tip. I'm probably like on tip four or five already. Hear me out. The next tip y'all guys want to understand is this. You are going to want. Oh, right here is where I got called up to um to AAA. I wanted you guys to see it because the difference in the pitching goes up significantly. Right? So, like I said, I'm reliving Piazza's career. Hear me out. One thing I want you look, 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 look. I aimed up, moved it around. So you see? So as you were able to see right there, let's just see it again. Let's just see it again. Cause I I really need you guys to understand this. I truly need you guys to understand this. Right? I moved the zone. I moved the zone. Now, because they were throwing it in the zone up that I aimed it, it shoved, it shoved that big vision bracket to the top. You can't move it. Now, you guys probably can swing with power. I don't like to swing with power. Why? Because I've experienced a lot of pop-ups. But, as you can see, look, it's not... That's that's right there in that zone where I want it to be, right? So now, once I hit it, you're gonna hit it hard. Listen, whenever you whenever you pick that top zone and it shoves you, and you hit that thing, you're gonna hit that thing hard. You're gonna hit it really hard. Now, the hard part is, the hardest part is gonna be the timing. How am I gonna time it? Because if it throw a fastball up and high, that's a dinger. That's out of there. Now, if it it may curve, but you have to look, which leads me to my next tip. Very next tip, right? I want you guys to understand this, right? This is really important for you guys. The very next tip I'm gonna give you guys. Please, 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 please. Look, I pick up, I'm, I'm moving my axe around. Make a custom batting view. This is custom. This camera angle is not in the game. I made this camera angle. Why? Listen, listen. So if you, if you see the, if you see the box, right? I try to keep the pitcher as much to the middle as possible. That's how you can see if the ball is going to go up to the corners, if it's going to come down. If you throw a curveball, you're going to see it go up and come down. You're going to. Your camera angle is definitely going to be key, but make your own camera angle. My suggestion, keep this picture in the middle. Cause now pay attention. Look, look, look. I did, every, I, did, I did everything I had to do already. I moved it around. Bang. You seen how I picked the zone up and it just, and I, I'm holding the little bracket down in case it ain't in that zone. So you're looking for the high pitch, but the, but the little, your, your little mark is down here. And the minute it goes into your zone, it goes, whoop. 
right up to the top so you're prepared for both you understand what i'm saying and another thing is this I, I, i'll show you on, on the next time when the pitch is not look so now you see it was a high pitch it was up and when he threw that that's a base hit as a run scores it's gonna be a hard hit y'all it's gonna be a hard hit i want you guys to understand that it's gonna be a hard it's gonna be a hard it's gonna be a rocket it's gonna be a rocket it's gonna be a rocket hold up so now right let's pay attention let's do this again I'm waiting for them to pitch it. No, 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 no. See, look. If you see, I'm looking. I'm looking at the junk. I'm looking at the junk. Remember, these, these are all your tips. You got to look at the junk. Ready? Look. Third quarter. He's not confident. All of this, all of this plays a factor in everything you're going to do. I get a lot of those hits, y'all. A lot of those hits. A lot of those hits. You ready? See. I move my cursor. I, I aim. A, I, I aim the zone up. It ain't going there. Cool. See what I'm saying? So I want you guys to be able to see it. So that way, it's not like. I'm just feeding you guys a story. I really want you guys to understand that's how I get a lot of my hits. I, I want the ball up high, but I just get ready for it down low and I move it only up and down. Look again, look, I pick the top with my cursor. Watch, see that? He got me there. But you see how you can see the look you see how the pitcher you see the box You see how the pitch is like pretty much in the middle of the box So you can see wherever that pitch comes from Great look now I, I aim up look now when he stands up He's almost pretty much in the middle of the box Now yeah, he's standing like you, you see the you see the base right here He stands a little off the plate because obviously you know what I'm saying his, 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 his arm movement It is what it is right so now look I, I pick up I'm, I'm ready for down and you can see if it's gonna be a ball sometimes it's really hard not to swing it is it's really 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 tough see what i'm saying you can literally see everything you messed up so you see and even though it wasn't out i still wanted you to see how you would hit the ball now another tip here's my tip if you notice it i love to pull i love to pull i'm trying to every time i hit i'm trying to i'm trying to pull it i'm trying to pull it to the left wherever i'm batting at when i got my baby bonds i'm trying to pull it over because that's where most of that power is gonna be like when you swing through the bat and you're able to pull that's where the that's where the timing is at now, now sometimes you guys see me i'll hit the opposite opposite field it's because it's either the pitch timing threw me off or all kinds of things of that nature now look let's go now see so look sinker slider cutter okay so for me this is junk he he ain't giving me nothing straight but i'm i want it to be up high but i'm ready down low for whenever but then when that thing goes boop, i already know I'm, I'm trying to yank it i'm trying to yank it i'm giving you guys the best tips now another tip for you guys your batting stance is crucial your batting stance is crucial good job working the count giving himself an edge 
Your batting stance is going to be crucial. It's going to be, look, you see, I'm doing everything every single play so you guys can see it. That was a walk. So what happens is this, right? So the position you guys want to put the empires in is when people are throwing junk and junk and ball after ball, I've noticed that the empires tend to squeeze the strike zone. I've noticed that those squeezed onto the strike zone and it'll put the pitcher in a really bad spot. As you can see, that last pitch was in the zone, but it was considered a ball. Why? Because he kept throwing junk and junk and junk. But this is why I love this camera angle because you guys can see everything. Now, 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 right here, right here, this pitch. I aimed it up top, but no problem. He ain't going up top. Home run. Crazy. That was crazy. Hold up. Right here, look, 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 look. Look. So he ain't throwing it up. He's trying to go down. So now look, you see? You see? Once he threw it out, once it came out of his hands, I seen it slowly cutting down. So I moved my, I moved the little bracket, the cursor down slowly. And then, boop, yanked it. Yanked it. And I try to hit, I try to pull everything, y'all. Because when you go opposite field, yeah, it works out sometimes. But when you look to pull, that's where, that's where your power is at. That's where your power is at. You know what I'm saying? Like that ball was that ball was creeping down slowly. And what a yank. And I need you guys to understand, man. You always want to pick the upper zone, like I said. You want to move the cursor around. Only move up and down. Don't move left and right. Because the purpose is you want to swing at something in the zone. Up and down. And I've never heard nobody saying nothing, nothing like this. Look, here it goes again. Now, hold up. Hold up. I need you to peep that. I need you to peep that. I need you to peep that. All this you got to pay attention to, y'all. Ready? Now. Look. One. Ready? You're in the seventh. You got to pay attention to all of this, y'all. All of this is going to help you hit the ball. His base is loaded. In the seventh two outs right look fastball slider curve splitter change that is a lot of junk he got he got a lot of junk so you gotta anticipate remember especially with pitchers like this you want to always pick the upper strike zone that's where you want to hit it but get ready for anything coming down Move the cursor. You see? So I picked up. So they're looking for the pop-up. So I picked the top zone. And once it gets stuck up there, you already know. What you got to focus on now is your timing. On the ground to third. That's it. You seen how hard I hit that thing? I hit the thing pretty damn hard. Pretty damn hard. I got it. Safe. I know it sounds crazy, y'all. I know it sounds crazy. And like I said, because when you pull, that's where, mind you, for those that watch baseball, you guys know, when you're, when you're swinging the bat, your strength is when your arm is able to be extended. So if they catch you and you swing it a little late, you're not really going to always be able to get the power behind it. So because this player is still being developed, all of his power is not up. All of the contact is not up. So you kind of have to work with what you got.
But if you can get extended and pull it, it gives you more power. When I once again, I followed everything I said I was gonna do. I picked up, moved the cursor around, came down. Look, the picture's almost in the middle of the, of, of the box. Going down slowly. See what I'm saying? You want to move it slowly. You don't. You don't want to just like run it. No, move it slowly. As you see the ball moving, move it with the ball. Move it with the ball slowly. Crazy. This is crazy. That was like center opposite kind of like you know what I'm saying. Center field predominantly. Look, I do it again. Bang. Pick up. Move my cursor a little bit. Swing and a rocket. Pretty deep. That one's gone. You see what I'm saying? So, and I move it down. I don't move it out. To, mind you, that pitch was going to the outside of the strike zone. Up and down. Up and down. I'm telling you, man. And this is going to make your um your experience with the game much better, man. I pick up on the strike zone. I look at all his junk. Bang. Now, as you can see, I showed you that I missed that. Why? Look. This is why I'm showing you all this. Look how early I swung. I swung so early because I was, I'm like, ah, ah. whenever I see it in that upper zone, I'm like, because ah, ah. I, I know I want to yank this thing. So I swung too soon. And it went out of bounds. This is what I'm saying. I picked up again, move the move the cursor, bang, up again. And I tell you guys all the time, I don't care what nobody says. If they pitch that ball to you up in that strike zone, I've hit home runs with the ball going all the way out, all the way high up, and I still swing at that thing, but it's all about the timing. If you pull it, you'll hit it. See? I ain't half-stepping with y'all. I'm showing y'all the process. Now you going down. Swings and jolts one to left. See what I'm saying? It just clears the wall. Did it again. Home run number two of the game. It's five zip. He went up. He went up. The next pitch slowly went down. Slowly. And then when you pull. With a slider to the opposite side of the plate, you're not expecting a full side. Bang. Ball. What a great swing to send that one out of here. You gotta, you, you gotta get it. You gotta use that pull power. You gotta use that pull power, y'all. Again. Now look, now look, now look, 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 look at this. Look at this. This is another thing, y'all. This is another thing. Ready? You gotta look at this too, all the time. All the time. Ready? Look. Seventh. Three pitches. That means that this is a relief pitcher. Somebody came in. These are the guys you really, you really want to punish these guys, right? So this is what he got. He ain't got much in the bag, but ready? Look, pay attention. His fastball is 89 to 94. Ready? Look at the drop off. Look at the. 
Why do you think you guys always see me hold it? I pick up, I move the cursor around. Look at the drop off. That means that means it's gonna go shoom or it's gonna go shoom. Y'all gotta look at all these things, all of this. So I picked up, move the cursor around, up. Ain't no half step in here, y'all. There ain't no half step in here. You know what I'm saying? People that know me and know how I know, know that when I play games, I play all kind of games on this channel. This channel ain't an MLB 2K channel. This is this channel is whatever I feel like doing that day. Now, mind you, look. Now, as you can see, I hit it. I hit it opposite. But had I pulled it, it probably would have been a hit. But because I was so prepared for that for that change in the speed, I just took it the opposite way. I said, heck with it. Ready? Look at this. He's in the ninth. 24 pitches. 24. Right? 24 pitches. New pitcher. Curve change. Now, this is pretty much all kind of in the same range besides the curveball. Right? You pick up. Up. Bang. Move your cursor. See, move the cursor real fast. I hope you guys are seeing what I'm saying, man. And that's how you win the game for them, man. That's how you win the game for your team, man. Nice job to notch the win, and they keep us from having to go Hilarious. back. I want you guys to understand something. I want to see that one again, though. Ready? Look. I aim up. Move the cursor. Slowly. Slowly. Bang. Once it's over the top, it's a wrap. And that was a game-winning hit. Perfect. Perfect. And then... Whenever you're in the road to the show and your coach starts seeing that you're doing things, they upped you up really fast. Really, 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 really fast. Really fast. But listen, man, I hope you guys find these tips useful. Thank you for being here at True Hall of Fame Builds. I'm your host, Michael May. Yeah, I already know I play all kind of games on this channel, man. You know, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn notifications. Y'all already know, man. I love doing this for y'all. I love doing this for y'all. And I really, truly... Give me some feedback. Try some of these tips and let me know if it worked for you. You already know. Till next time, we out.